Welcome back. So, as I mentioned in the previous video, the images that the examiner wants us to use in this particular paper is not suited for this orientation of banner. So this is what I'm thinking will make more sense. So in this case, and I'm going to actually put the navigation bar at the top, and I'm going to have a portrait-sized banner here on the right-hand side. I could have it on the left, but for now I'm going to have it on the right-hand side. Uh, which will work better with the two images that I need to I need to use. And then I'll have three spaces here, which I could merge if I want to afterwards, um, for the main area of content that I need to apply and use on my four pages. So now I'm going to have to go back to template and obviously make these changes. Very simple. I'm going to reduce the size so I can see it all. And if you remember, we need this to go up. We can split this one up, so let's split the cells. So we want two columns, yeah, so it matches that. Buttons will go there perfectly. We can drag this down. This is the area where the banner is going to go. I'm going to push this up a little bit. And now we have an area there and an area there for the content. So I've got two there, and I've got one here. Now, if I wanted to, I could very simply just split this one as well. Uh, to two rows and I'll have those areas as well. So you can see that's the better kind of layout I reckon anyway for the kind of banner that we have to create and I can move these across if I want to but for now um, what I'm going to do is leave them there and uh, we can keep that as it is. So I'm going to save this template as it is. I'm happy with that now and we can go back to creating our banner. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have to decide on the dimensions now um, now, if I'm happy with this, um, all you got to do is keep it simple. That's about 100 there. So, go, you can see from there to there is 100. So, from there to there is just over 700. So, it's about 750. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go for 700 just to keep it nice and simple. Um, If it will allow me, Ooh. I have to push some of these up. There we go. So we're going to have 700 in terms of the height of the banner, and the width can be just simply you know, half the size of the website itself. So um, get the calculator out if you can't do the maths quickly. Yep, Ooh. 1366 divided by 2. 683, let's make it simple, 680. So 680 by 700. So I'm going to go back here, file and open, no, sorry, new. And pixels again, width, I said 680. And height is going to be 700. Again, making sure it says RGB, white, pixels, that's OK. Now that should be hopefully better. Now we, if we need to mess around with this, we can do and change the canvas size. We won't know until we basically take this out. So I'm going to take this image first because this is the one that's you know really the, that's um, made this a bit more uh, difficult uh, a task. So I'm just going to drag this into this layer here, throw it in, and you can see that doesn't work as nicely as I, was, as I would like. So what I'm going to do is I want a nice spot for the the logo. Now you could, if you want to, add other images. I don't want to have this white. Uh, space at the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a bit longer, so wider. So rather than having six to six eighty, I think it was. If I go to image and go to canvas size, um, changes to pixels. There we go, six eighty. Let's try seven fifty for now and press OK. There we go. Now the height is obviously too um, long. So what I can do. Um, I can get the dimensions of this picture actually. So if I'm going to go, if I go to my assets folder, um, here we go, find that image. And if you ever need to check the dimensions of something, all you got to do is click it and it should tell you here. So you can see the height is actually 620. If you can't see that, you can always go to this button here and go to content and you'll find it here as well. So book cover 620. So I'm going to change the height as well. So image, canvas size, height, again, I'm going to make this pixels, height, I want this to be 620. That's okay. Proceed. 
There you go. So that works a lot better. Um, I'm going to push the image over this side instead and then get the logo. So I'm going to drag this in into here. There we go. And I quite like that, like that, right, 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 right where it is. Now you could put something up here, like the logo up here, and put another image here if you want to. Now the question paper does say a banner including these two items but it doesn't say only these two items so you can add more items or the images in there if you want to uh, but you have to be careful because some of these images will be appropriate some of them will not be and that in itself is a test and i can't see these images looking as good on this uh background i can't see anything here that would look right um without making it seem out of place so i'm going to keep mine simple and put it in the middle so i'm going to keep mine there so that's going to be simply my banner i'm not going to add anything to it i'm not going to put any words because it's got a, enough text on there and i don't want to really complicate it any more than that so that's going to be my banner as it is so file and i'm going to save it first so if i need to make changes to it while i'm in the exam then you have the option so i'm going to keep uh, type that as save that as banner but we also need to save it as, um, one second, just save that there. Let's remind ourselves that it says whatever it says it is. So it says here that these are PNGs, right? So it's safe to say that they want the banner to be a PNG as well. So you can see that the book covers PNG and the logo, let me just double check if the logo is a PNG. Not you. Logo, logo, logo. There you are. Yes, it is. So since they're both PNGs, I think it's safe to say we need to save this one as a PNG. So you can see my Photoshop version is still here. I've kept it, like I said, if I need to make any changes to it. But right now, I'm going to keep, I'm going to go back and save this. Now, the other thing we need to mention, or we must not forget, is that all images in this exam should be 300 kilobytes or less. So, in fact, it says less than 300. So let's be safe and aim for 299 or less. So if it's 300, it's not less than, okay? Because so I know that it's a bit awkward, but you never know. So let's be, let's be uh, safe than sorry. Um, so, sorry, let me say that again. I didn't show you, did I? So go file, save for web and devices. So when you click here, it will allow you to save it with the right format. So you can see PNG here. And you can also check that it's actually correct in terms of its size. So you can see 149. So that's definitely less than 300. Okay. So you press yes or done. And it should then put your banner in here. Hopefully. Unless I'm being blind. Let's have a look. Is it doing it? Okay, I don't see it, so let me refresh. No, it hasn't done it for some reason. Okay, let me just double check that. I know it seems you're having some technical issues with my laptop today, so I'm going to try that again. Save for devices, yes. Yes, yes, yes. PNG 149. Sorry, I need to press save. Okay, it's so what you get when you rush, so please take your time, guys. So you look at save here and then press save and that should then ask you where you want it make sure we're in the correct folder so uh, i am not in the correct folder so i'm going to go into my folder now uh, there i am 27 2018 in here and i got my assets images here it is banner png is fine press save and hopefully now it should take it in there and there you are okay fantastic now the last thing is to get it in here very simple Click inside, you'll notice the cursor's in the middle here. Go down here, make sure we have it left and top, so the cursor goes back to the top. Insert image, and you can paste it in. So you can go to your assets, find the image, and that's okay. Say no to this, and we're going to always, anytime you see this here, alternate. Uh, text you must include something describe what the image shows or what the button shows you get an additional mark for this every time you do this. so please get into the habit of doing this every time you see this it means you need to type something so we're going to say banner 
with uh, book, cover, and uh, company logo. Um, you could even go a step further and talk about the colors that are involved. So you can say gray, black, and red. Okay, so gray, black, and red colors. Let's make it a full sentence actually. In, in gray, black, and red colors. I don't know if I can use full stops here. Let me try that. There we go. Press OK. And it should flow it in. There we go. Perfect. Now we can drag this up. And that's a nice little size. That's a nice uh, size there. Now, don't worry about the size of the website in terms of the uh, width, because I have a trick for that, which we're going to go through soon. Now, this is simply, and that is there enough for your banner. Now, if you want to make it interactive, you can do that if you want to. But let me just save this first. So save. And let's test this going to Chrome and have a look at it. Um, there you go. And F11 to maximize the screen. As you can see it is hanging out a little bit on the edge. But don't worry about that because, like I said, I'm going to sort something. I'm going to do something to sort that out later. So that's the, the banner there on the side. If you want to make this interactive, you can very simply just... Um, um, make a second version of it so that's why again if you have a uh, the photoshop version saved you can always make those changes so if i go back to here i've got that version here um i could um, make this interactive by uh, maybe making some changes to some of these layers so uh, my second version might want to inverse these colors uh, or something like that or blur this out so a simple solution would be to right click blending options and you can make it, um, let's see how this looks, nope, we don't want that, actually could have that effect and see makes it a bit more 3D, but um, no, I don't want to do any of these actually, no, let me try a different one, let's use the filters, so if we go to filter, blur, there we go, and um, we can use design blur, and you can see it just makes it all blurry, so I'm going to, I'm happy with that, and I'm going to do the same thing with the logo, actually. Um, or should I? I'm going to see. Let's see how it looks. So, blur, design blur. Yeah. No, actually, I think it's quite nice if it's always showing. Yeah, let's do like that. So, I'm going to make a second version like this. So, file, um, save for web and devices again. Um, PNG, check the size. Yep. And this time, I'm going to click save. And I want to change it to banner number two. Okay, so let me show you the difference between these. Now. And when you think about that, it's a relatively, you know, short amount of time to make a second version here, just to add an, add an effect to this. We just in effect use the filter tool um, in Photoshop. So if I delete that and insert this time an image object and go to roll over image, I can then use um, this. So I'm going to put banner and get the second. So the first picture, so banner, there it is. And yep. Say no to that. And get banner number two. There it is. Say no to that. And then give an alternate text. Um, no banner showing um, book cover and company logo using black, gray, and red colors okay uh, and then we just press okay again you can't tell any difference from this just yet however if I save and preview this on Chrome F11 you'll see it just adds a little bit of a dimension to this okay so it looks pretty good now if you want to change this yeah to have them both blurred out, blurred out, you can do. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm going to do that. But for now, I'm gonna keep this as it is. So that is as simple as that. So just be careful about the size. That's the main point of this video here. The main lesson from this video. If there's one thing you need to take from this, is not all banners will be. 
across the top of the page sometimes depending on what image they want you to use because we need to keep the proportions of the logo and the proportions of the post so the the book cover uh, correct so i had no choice but to do this now if i want to i can make this shorter so if you look at the size of 750 and 620 i could take 100 out from both of them so if for example i say this i'm going to make this six and go down here and make that five And the proportions are all uh, still the same, and I could drop it down like so, save it, and then try this. And the proportions are still decent. So as long as this, it fits in, and you're happy with it, and it's clear that it's the banner, then it's fine. Okay. And even by that small change, you can see that my website's fitting in now inside the uh, the whole screen. Okay, so that's how you create a banner and insert it into your Dreamweaver template.